Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your first fighter here to the cage from Manchester, oh. Lucas Kedden! Huh? I don't know why I'm asking my family all of a sudden. comes Lucas Kedden. I think the only person who's going to be more tied up than the fighters is Frank from Frank's Gym. He's had three for three in this first half of the, uh, the Tanko card. Lucas Kedden debuted on ice last time in August. Lost that fight, but they wanted him back. His fighting style, a striker primarily, but very exciting all round. And as we've seen from Frank's Gym already, these fighters come conditioned well technically well and mentally they seem very ready for these as these fights as well yeah they certainly do and like we said uh, before the last fight the buzz just starts to go and they're on a winning streak here i, I think lucas uh, is going to come out now really buzzing he's got two two of his teammates have won he's going to want to come out and do exactly the same thing absolutely very calm fighter as well uh, when i saw him at the, the weigh-ins yesterday just very chilled taking it all in his stride that's an asset at this sort of age as well, isn't it? When you're on a big show like this, and coming from Manchester, he's got quite a few fans in. There can be pressure that comes with that, but doesn't look to sweat it. Yeah, please welcome his opponent fighting on the South Shields, Dan Ford. So next up, we have the very exciting Dan Ford, 2-0 and in his amateur debut, and I don't know what it is, but the more fighters that come up on that stage, they seem to be getting younger. Look at this, young, fresh fighter coming, fighting out of Sixth Sense Gym, trains under Alex Enlund, so very solid training there, great sparring, great partners. Jiu-Jitsu background, but with those long limbs, you want to see him use that distance, use those tools well, and see if he can implement them here against the, uh, the equally dangerous Lucas Kedden. Well, it's funny he's talking about the fighters getting younger. We've got Mohamed Makayev coming up there. <laughs> now. You've got to watch out for this guy, 16 years old, and he is phenomenal. But as you say, this is the, the, the new MMA, the new guys coming through. They, some of these guys started training MMA, actual MMA, at 10 years old, 10, 11, 12 years old. Unbelievable. And look at this, this is what this promotion's about, giving these fighters this opportunity to, to feel the, the big lights, the bright stage, the pressure of a big event. Oh, well, you can see there, this is a young fighter, he's got Alex Enland in his corner, Alex, you know, Cage Warriors champion, very, very good fighter in his own right, good jiu-jitsu, very good, well-rounded MMA. So all the Sixth Sense guys are gonna have that sort of backing from him. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Tanko FC present three three-minute rounds in the amateur featherweight division. And in the blue corner with a record of one defeat, weighing in the 65.9 kilograms, representing Franks in Manchester, Lucas Kedden. <laughs> and his opponent fights in the red corner, undefeated with a record of two wins, no defeats, weighing in the 66.1 kilogram, Representing SBG in South Shields, Dan Ford. Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Paul Crossley. So we're set for fight number three here at Tanko FC 2. 
instantly the height difference between the two fighters very noticeable we've got Dan Ford towering over Lucas Kedden Dan yeah. Ford in the red corner Lucas Kedden in the blue well on paper looking at the gyms not I don't know the fighters but you think Kedden would be the striker and Dan Ford would be the grappler but looking at the stature and size and shape of them Dan Ford is going to be very hard to get in against work any sort of striking especially with a nice sharp right hand like that <laughs> Already showing a, a great vocabulary of shots. Front kicks, round kicks, jab, cross. And the distance as well, just putting them right on the end there, just so uh, he's out of danger and he can pick his shots. Those front kicks especially have been uh, very good at keeping the distance. He's got, his, he's got his time and his distance very, very quickly for this fight. This looks like it could be a tough night for Lucas Kedden. But there you go, Lucas Kedden heads. Yeah, he calls yes. it on there. Head down, let's do this. Well, that's it, it's the attitude. And this may only be a second uh, amateur fight, Lucas Kellen, but when you're in a, a gym like Frank's, you'll be sparring regularly. We've already seen the sort of uh, fighters he's got to, to roll with, to fight with, to, uh, to, to work with day in, day out. Well, if he's day in, day out with those two we've seen so far, it's going to be tough sparring all the time. Very impressed with Dan Ford and his, uh, his range at the minute, establishing that jab as well. Yeah, Dan Ford's a different kettle of fish. That was a good right hand, two right hands on the button. There's a change in uh, Lucas Kedden's eyes there. He just bit down on his mouthpiece and said, come on, let's do this. He might need to do that just to walk through a few of the shots to close that distance. Yeah, there's only so many of them he can take, though. He's now standing southpaw, which is bad for eating the right hand. Already, already wearing the marks of a few of those kicks, punches coming from uh, Dan Ford there. I think it's a sign that he's a little bit confused with the style of Dan Ford that he, he keeps switching from the orthodox to southpaw trying to get in both ways he's struggling now this weight that's class as well the, 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 the size of Dan Ford is something oh he's just caught him with a big right hand that's exactly what he wants yes, that's better work and, and he's done as you said he's bitten down on his gum shield put his head down and come in with two big shots over the top certainly saw uh, Dan Ford's eyes get a little bit glazed there but seems to have got his composure back well that's given him something to really think about Here, Alex Henderson saying, let's have a takedown now, Dan. And that's what they need to do, mix this up. If you get caught, change the game a little bit, make your opponent think, even just make them hesitant for a little while. Nice side kick there from Dan Ford. And like I said, great vocabulary of shots. You know, really mixes them up well, Dan. Oh, good head kick. Nice head kick. This could, this could very much be a case. You've got the technical Dan Ford there. We might just need to see a brawl out of Lucas Kedden because he's trying to use angles. He's using good footwork, made, changing it up. But with somebody like Dan Ford, he's closing the cage off very well. He's just picking him off with shots. And he's not causing huge damage, but he's certainly winning and taking the momentum of this, this fight in these rounds. Exactly right. That Dan Ford won the round, but it wasn't one-sided. You know, he fielded two big right hands there. And that's the game that... Um, Lucas Kedden's going to have to play. He's going to have to bite down on his gum shield and go in there and make it a brawl. Absolutely. This will be the first time, really, that Frank, uh, Frank's gym will have to sort of turn their fighter around. This is the first one that they've sort of been behind, in my opinion, uh, so far on the card. So it'll be interesting to see what cornering they give him, as well as Alex Enland calling for the takedown there. Maybe once his... Because uh, he will have a great jiu-jitsu background coming from, uh, from that gym. He will. And you can imagine him sat in your guard. He could really fire some ground and pound down. You know, he's got the long arms. We're set for round two here. Dan Ford in the red corner. Lucas Kedden in the blue. Dan takes the centre of the cage again. Would like to see that jab be a bit stiffer from Dan as well. It's a great weapon he's got, but he just pours it out maybe. A bit more venom behind that. Oh, but here we go. Kedden's doing that, chasing him down. Yeah, he knows he's got to close that distance. Dan used that little stomp to the knee that slows people down when they're coming in against you. Horrible move. Horrible strike. Nice body kick there as well. Oh, trying to catch him. Oh, that's good work there. 
That's great work. Now we will see the guard of uh, Dan Hope throwing those legs up instantly. Triangle yeah, potentially. Triangle. That's the thing with these guys with long limbs. He's got the triangle straight on. Turning the corner, Pulling. grabbing the leg there very well. Yeah. Pulls the arm across. This could just be a matter of time this now. This is um, and the ref is tapped. There we go. Yeah. Unbelievable jujitsu. For all credit to Lucas, Kevin tried to change it up. Great takedown off catching the leg. Struck the uh, the rear leg of of Dan Ford down, but then fell into that guard and straight away Ford threw up those long limbs, shut it down. Brilliant performance. It really reminds me of a young Matt Thorpe, you know, a, a local fighter for, for M M1 Global team and uh, fought over in uh, Bellator. And he's that same sort of fighter. He's got the, the great striking because of the reach, you know, very tall for the weight. But then as soon as you go into the guard, it's like quicksand. Those long legs wrap around you, you just can't get out of them. The speed at which he got that up and round, and then also the technique, those little adjustments he did, catching the leg, turning it over into almost a mounted triangle there as well. Very, very high level from such a young athlete. and four seconds of round two for your winner by triangle choke Tan Ford and that's here for your runner-up Lucas Cadden We see Dan Ford enjoying his moment with the SPG lot. Alex Enlund there, very happy with his fight. He's got to be happy with that performance. Another great prospect. That is 3-0 now. Stunning performance. Yeah, really, really good. You look at him there, he's got, like I said, the striking was excellent. The groundwork was excellent. Alex Enlund, he's firing his instructions from the corner. His fighter just listened to him perfectly. That's a good relationship between coach and fighter. Absolutely. 